Hi everybody, this is Diane. Today is the day I'm getting out my Christmas supplies so that I can see what kind of Christmas journals I want to make this year. Let me tell you the saga of my Christmas supplies. Last year I made, I forgot how many journals I made last year, probably at least four. The year before that I made nine and I was determined not to do that many. Uh, I also don't want to make nine again this year. but. So I sold a lot of the leftovers. After I was all done making journals, I put um, some packs together of leftover pieces. But I did save some, and I kept them in here. There were fabric pieces, ribbon pieces, um, whatever papers and ephemera I had. Everything was in here with room to spare at the end of the year. So then I started accumulating more, both from flea markets, and some from Happy Mails. So then I had to expand into a little basket for the fabrics and trims and ribbons so that I had more room in here. So you can see how full this basket of fabric and trims got. And then this was getting so full I couldn't put any more in it. So I, a few months ago, went through it and pulled out some things that I am going to put in bundles to sell. So this has been sitting and waiting for me to do that. And now it's full again, and I had to expand into this little box. So small pieces and napkins and things are in here. So I have a lot of Christmas supplies. We're gonna look through them and see what's here and decide what kind of journals to make. Let me show you some of the book covers. I do want to make one or two domestic art style Christmas journals because I made um, a couple of them a couple years ago, I think three years ago, and I loved them. Uh, these are both Better Homes and Gardens books. And I used to have this book, and I love this cover. I just love that doll on the front. So I'm gonna make one out of this, and then I'm gonna make one out of this one, which looks newer. And I don't know if there's covers in here. I thought I had a little golden book Christmas book, and I don't, I don't in my little golden book supply. So there might be book covers in that box. But I did look through whatever book covers I have, and I've got some Reader's Digest ones that would work for Christmas. This is red and gold. This one is just gold. This one is red and green and green and red with an olive green, another green, and then I have three plain red book covers. So obviously I'm not going to use all of these, but I have my options here. So that's what I have so far for book covers. Um, I also just got this one from one of my recent flea markets. I think the last time I went to the flea market, but this is um, in bad shape. I don't think I'm going to use the cover, but I, I will use the pages because they're really cute. Um, I have one ideals book that I saved for myself. I had a bunch of ideals books and I just went through and picked one out that I thought I would use. I usually don't use the ideals books. But I thought I would this time, and I put the rest in my shop. Now, I just got um, a stack of new, newer ones that are from the 2000s. I don't know how old, I don't know how old this one is. 1959. It's in pretty good shape for 1959. Um, but I do have a couple Christmas and a couple Thanksgiving ones that are newer that I'm going to put in my shop really soon. So... Um, yeah, let's go through this big box first, because if I have more book covers, they would be in here. I just added this to the box, even though I made it a while ago. I used this old organ music paper. It's quite fragile, but I put, uh, I stenciled on it with modeling paste, and this is the poinsettia stencil. So I added this to the box so I wouldn't forget about it turned around. And this is a recent find. You may remember seeing this in a flea market haul. 
a picture story for you to build and arrange. So it has this flocked piece and you would put your pieces on it and tell a story. It's just, I would have loved this when I was a kid. I am not sure how I'm going to use this, but it is just too fun to not use. I could turn this into a journal all by itself. We will see. These came out of old magazines. Paper pizzazz. It's a very shiny snowflake paper. I think I got, oh yes, I did get a bunch of scrapbooking stuff at the flea market. So that's what these are. And they're double-sided. That's awesome. Somebody traced some candy canes on that. Looks like they were going to cut them out and use them for something. That's a thinner paper, which I'm very happy about. It's just some border stickers. I guess that's just one with words on it, and there's one with red. It says mistletoe. Um, these came out of a book of images that you were supposed to be able to make copies of with a DVD or a CD. I just pulled these from the book. Um, I'm not sure. I think I got this at a flea market, but I don't remember. It's a notepad of angels. And this little golden book but it was a record. It had a record with it. I don't have the record. This was free at the flea market. Probably because the record is missing and the last page is missing. But I can use these pages. The Ideal Christmas Gift. This is from a Delineator magazine from 1920. Oh, that's a digital. of. That's one of my digitals. I have this little star. I've got some red doilies. I've got these um, reproduction postcards. They're in a book. They're perforated on the edge, but they're some fun images. Oh yes, I forgot about these. I used a lot of them last year. I bought these from my friend Leslie from her shop, the Paper Emporium, Vintage Paper em Emporium. They're not there anymore. I bought them a couple years ago and used a lot of them in my journals last year. So it's just fabric pieces that someone cut out and they had ironed them to um, a fab uh, iron-on interfacing. So I've got lots of those that I can use again. And some of them are big. I'll have to trim them probably, but I can use them in my domestic arts journals, those big ones. Assorted doilies here. Some more of my digitals. This red and green baker's twine. This angel ribbon. And this ribbon. This I'm going to have to get rid of because I've had it for a couple years now. I had the whole cover and then when I wanted to make the Christmas journals, I couldn't find the back half. But I kept it. I figured that back, the back of the book is going to turn up eventually, but it has not turned up yet. Um, this came in a batch of flea market stuff, I think. Or else it was in a Happy Mail. Pretty angel base. This looks like snowflakes. So I, I added it to my Christmas stuff. And then these two pieces of lace. Got some Christmas handkerchiefs and some napkins. There's another handkerchief. I did some stamping on some fabric. A coaster. Um, somebody sent this to me and it's a flip but it's it's stapled together. It's like a little fabric sampler. It's really cute. And uh, a leftover fabric flip that I made from last year. 
Got some trims. A bell I could put on the spine. I have a little bit of a few sequins. I know I put a lot of sequins and things like this in the packs that I sold at, at the end of the season last year. Well, when I was done making, but I kept a few. There's some washi tape. And these are Stampin' Up! Snowflake Charms. And some vintage snowflake sequins. Some more vintage sequins. More bells. It's quite a lot already, isn't it? I still have a lot in this box. A lot of Christmas vintage greeting cards. Oops, got a bunch of Christmas stamps stuck in there. And a bunch of stamps that were cut off of envelopes. All Christmas stamps. I like this one. I could be, make that little corner bookmarky thing. Well, I could do that with any of them. I just have to add the paper to be the corner. This is some um, gold envelope. So these might get put into those large journals. And this is an envelope from um, Dreams Etc. I bought her, her pack of envelopes and I don't know how many, four or five were in it and I had one left over. Oh, two left over, but I can print more. Um, some recipe cards, an open house card. Look at that pretty flat envelope. That envelope, but there's a card that goes with it. Holly Hobby Christmas. Love this. 1949. When I see you, I will give you something. Tell your mama and daddy come up. That is so sweet. Playing card. These are paper, some cardstock scraps that I had left over. So I can make pockets and journal cards out of them. Scrap of wrapping paper. More stamps. Uh, a vintage postcard more vintage postcards. So the other ones I showed you were reproductions. These are the real deal. A couple more advertisements from old magazines. These are some stamps that weren't on paper. I think I got these from Nancy. Uh, Wishes and Weeds. Yeah, I did. So this is uh, Santa in the chimney. It's really cute. And then this toy train says Christmas. Just a vintage tag off of some Christmas evergreen stuff. And this is a vintage pin I got at the flea market. Some pages from a book. I don't think he was supposed to be in there, but she was. Some Christmas seal type of stamps. These would be wonderful for a Woodlands Christmas journal. Um, I do have some old photographs from the collections of photos that I have pur purchased. I know I have a few more that haven't made it into the box, but this is a dog under that sort of a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> this is fun. Um, it was a butter cookie kit from American Dairy Association and it had these patterns. You would cut the pattern out and lay them on your dough and cut around the dough. Thank goodness for cookie cutters. <laughs> but this will be fun in the junk journals. And this came with it. Oh, here's some more stamps from Nancy. Some 
Christmas seals that I had left over. I bought them at a flea market. I had quite a few of them. To Reba from the other Giggler. <laughs> I love the vintage pieces like that. Got some leftover digital pages that didn't get used. And leftover the, uh, scrapbooking papers. I didn't know I had any of these left. It's a sheet, a tablet. Some wrapping paper. I just love this image. I got a whole roll of that at a flea market. I don't think it was very old, but it was from a flea market. This is from a children's book, Merry Christmas. This is from different countries. The Tale of the Nutcracker. Some Christmas songs, some more digitals, the computer stationery. So I don't see any book covers in here. Must be I sold the um, little golden book because I know I had the Christmas story one. Um, mulberry paper, red with gold stars, perfect for Christmas. That's okay because I'll use uh, my. Uh, Reader's Digest books and my big books. And maybe I'll just make four, three or four journals this year. I got this pack from Stampin' Up! And I don't believe it got used at all. I must have bought it after Christmas. green on one side and red on the other. Kind of looks like a toile. This one is a green gingham and a red gingham. Are these the same? No, oh, it's a different picture. And there's a stripe, red and green. And this botanical pattern, red and green. Oh, there's some animals. Maybe I'll have to make one of the journals a um, Woodlands Christmas and use those Christmas steel seals on that paper. We will see. There's these pages out of a children's book. The, these from a children's book. Crafty and recipe books. This was sent to me by, I think that was from Karina in Sweden. Beautiful. And that was a while ago. Some Christmas music from children's song books. And some vintage Christmas gift wrap from a big package, big bundle of gift wrap that I got at the flea market. Some of them are really vintage and really adorable. Okay, Woodlands Journal right there, right? Oh, these are from a magazine. I got these, I bought this magazine and got these free stamps. So I saved this for ideas on using the stamps, I guess. And some green cardstock. That's a lot in that box. So now I know what I have for book covers. But I also have uh, patchwork placemats, Christmas placemats, and one of those would make a nice book cover. So, I don't think I want to make more than four journals. So, I'll do one fabric one with the placemat, and I'll show you that in a minute. I just want to get these things put away. I don't want to have everything out on my desk all at once. I can do one fabric one, at least one domestic arts, and one reader's digest. And then we'll see what else. Oops, 
sorry. So much stuff. So I remember um, in past years when I was doing multiple Christmas journals, I took my books and then um, divided up paper to go with each book and then ephemera to go with each book and made my own little journal kits so that I wouldn't feel so overwhelmed. And then as I made each journal, I just got out that journal kit. And then there was also a supply uh, of miscellaneous that could be used for any of the journals that I could draw on if I needed to. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do here. So what's in this little box? It's got, oh, this. That was fun. Oh, it's a, I was thinking it was a Christmas club. It is a needle book from a bank. Um, there's a Christmas, sort of a Christmas card. It was probably inserted into a card. Oh, a very vintage um, German scrap piece. Christmas cards. This was left over from last year, just some of my little pieces. Oh yeah, stereoscope card. Some of my digitals. This is a Christmas Club one. Just a little card, not a book. And some more vintage postcards. This is odd. It has snowmen, but it's, they're on the water. Sorry about my phone. This is from 1904, and somebody colored it very nicely. I got these in a happy mail, I think, yes. This one is, so this could go in a Woodlands journal. I won't take them out. Oh. But they are name cards for a dinner table, place cards with the deer, and some wood veneers with words, ho, 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 happy holidays and some wood veneer snowflakes. Some vintage coasters. I haven't found any this year, but I in past years I kept finding them. I don't I don't need to find any more this year. Um, I think somebody got sent me this in a happy mail, my never ending Christmas list. Some more Christmas photographs. So this is a Christmas centerpiece with the nativity and candles. There's a watering can back there. I don't think that's supposed to be part of it. And Christmas tree. Look at that one. So cute. Some elements that were cut from papers, I think. Some more napkins. There's another photo. 1962. And these uh, have the numbers, so they could be for a December daily. This is left over from a piece that I used last year. Ooh, some more napkins. 12 Days of Christmas. I used to have the... I did a couple of Christmas journals over the years of um, the little golden book, 12 Days of Christmas. That would have been great, but I don't have that book this year. Lots of napkins. Oh, here's the rest of that piece. It was all dilapidated when I found it. And I know I took some of the pieces and put them in something. But these would be for a religious journal. I don't have... Oh, here it is. I do have the Christmas story. <laughs> it's a newer version of it. I mean, it's the same illustrations, but it's a newer copy. 1980. So, it's still vintage. Got some more stamps. And some more greeting cards. So, some of these items are going to go in my shop, too. Napkins. I have way more napkins than I need. Greeting cards. Postcards. Coasters, probably. So 
some of these can go in the shop. So they'll be in bundles. Okay, and then we have this basket to look at to see what we have. These are Christmas napkins. So I have four of them, and they have four different designs on each of the sections. So there's 16 designs that I can cut out and use. Or make fabric flip, or whatever. You could even make a journal cover with it. But these... I just recently got at the thrift store and I like the shape of them so I thought I could fold it up like that and then fold it this way and have a journal cover with a pocket and then the other ones can go in my shop it may be as part of a kit I don't know yet I think somebody sent this to me but it's a thick embroidery thread but because it had a lot of Christmassy colors, I put it with my Christmas stuff. There's another pretty napkin. It's more rough and homespun than delicate. Oh, it's not a napkin, maybe. I don't know. I guess it would be because it would be decorated on that end if it wasn't a napkin. I've got some scraps of Christmas fabrics. I bought a whole bunch of, like a bag full of pieces, Christmas pe or fabric pieces. This should not be in there. And I separated all the Christmas ones. Got this one. That might have been in a Happy Mail. I've got a bunch of gold rickrack, red rickrack, red ribbon, lots of that sort of stuff. I'm going to have to tidy it up and organize it. Some fabrics. Ooh, look at that. I think I put it in there because of the gold and because it went with that and that. Okay, so this gives me an idea for a different kind of journal than I haven't done before. I might have to do a journal with that. This looks like stained glass. That could go in the Christmas story one. We've got some gingerbread cookies. Uh, this is the Rudolph story and all the characters. These came in Happy Mails. Pine cones, woodlands, ornaments. This is beautiful. And some ribbon. Woodlands. Look at this one. This reminds me of the Charlie Brown cartoon where um, Linus and Charlie Brown went to the Christmas tree stand to buy a tree and there were all these aluminum ones in triangular shapes that is really cute I like it oh, I've got some trims I added in here silver and then this is a like a cotton trim but it's got silver in it so I put it in here got a lot of fabric pieces not necessarily Christmas but I guess because of the gold This one is Christmas. It's got jingle bells on it. I got some decisions to make. I love these Christmas pieces. Look at this. They're tags that I can cut out. I've had these for a long time because I don't even remember them. So probably pretty soon after I finished my other journals, I received these. The Grinch and the Who's. Oh, this one's beautiful. All sparkly. This is different. I'm going to have to use it somehow. Maybe a fabric flip. And I had this last year, I think. I used some of that. There's another tissue or <laughs> handkerchief. This is really cool. Another piece that might go in the woodlands. And this red ticking. It's not real ticking, it's just a cotton fabric, but it looks like ticking. Wow, so much stuff. What do you guys think? Um, so, let's try to make some decisions. I want to make 
a fun journal with pink colors these bright fun candy and cookie colors so I would like to do that and I think I will make a woodlands journal and one of these and a domestic arts if I'm only going to do one domestic arts it would be this one I think and that's already four so I don't know if I'll do the Christmas story one or make a journal kit for that so I wonder if I have a different book cover that would be better for those for that pink one that's brighter I'm going to grab my other Reader's Digest books I don't think I have a pink cover It's got, there's gold in this, there's gold in that, oh, there's another red one. the Woodlands Journal. That one, or that one, maybe this one. Okay, so I have one, two, I think I'll go with that one. Looks Christmassy, but it could be Woodlands. One, two, three, and then whatever I decide for the pink candy one. message from my son <laughs> okay um, so possibly I could do five if I decide to do the Christmas story but we'll see um, I'm getting an early enough start on them I know I would have time to do five of them but I just might not want to but I mean I've got so much fun stuff I might end up doing five and I really, I wouldn't mind doing two of the domestic arts because they are just so much fun and they use up a lot of big pieces and a lot of supplies. So I might end up doing two of those. So I might do one, two, three, four, five. And that might change. So, I've got my work cut out for me, wouldn't you say? Which one are you the most excited about seeing of the journals that I've talked about doing? Would this one be fun in the candy one? I don't know. We'll have to see as it goes along. But I have so much stuff that would be good in the Woodlands Journal, I feel like I really have to do that one. And it will be fun to do. And I did see a digital kit for Woodlands, uh, Woodlands Christmas, so I might look into that. Thanks so much for watching and watching me and listening to me hem and haw about what I wanted to do. You see how much stuff I have. So I'm going to have to figure it out, put some journal kits together, and then put some journal kits together for you. Some for me and some for you. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for right now. I've got to get to work sorting this stuff and making some sense of it. And I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.